assalamu alaikum for the math students uh, i am here with the for the math chapter on circular motion um, in your a level mechanics we have the motion in, in straight line okay and there you have seen how do we apply that f equal to ma thing where this f is the resultant of the forces mass and this is acceleration okay now in in this further mass we 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 go beyond that motion uh, in a straight line and we in fact talk about the circular motion okay this circular motion would be this is basically a motion which is around a circular path or maybe a part of a circular path okay and this circular path can be horizontal vertical and later on in in the in the chapter this would be the, like you know uh, an inclined circle as well okay so now let's start basically what happens is uh, when you have uh, like you know there is a circle okay so if there is an object which is moving around this um, uh, like on the circular path over here so its radius is fixed so with the passage of time what is happening this is covering this circular like you know uh, path that is called the the arc length this s is being covered and this is your theta over here okay so as we know that the velocity the speed is distance over time and this is uh, also the dx over dt that is uh, through the calculus we do this and then the same velocity like in this case this would become the velocity is going to be ds over dt and you know that your s is equal to r theta so if i just define it further this becomes d and i write r over here this is d theta over dt now this d theta over dt that is your angular speed like this is a new term for you the omega this is basically the amount of the the radians that it has rotated over a given unit of time that is d theta over dt so this omega is basically this is radians per second okay so your angular speed is omega so the speed of the particle which is moving around uh this circular path that is going to be velocity is going to be r omega so we shall be using this velocity r omega and that is your you, you see this is your omega and this one is your v velocity is equal to r omega thing now moving towards the acceleration thing you see acceleration is basically the rate of change of the speed so this uh, acceleration now is going to be dv over dt now basically when we talk about acceleration uh, in a, in a circular circular motion so since acceleration is a vector quantity so we shall we, we shall see over here that uh, for example if this is your circular track an object is moving here this is uh, uh the direction in which it is it it, ha it has the velocity going like this now suppose there is a very small angle though i'm drawing this a bit bigger over here this the sigma theta over here okay and the velocity this is the velocity again okay so if i just zoom in it this becomes something like this this is going like this this is going like this if this is your sigma theta and then this is if you remember your circular properties this is going to be pi minus sigma theta and this angle will also be uh, sigma theta okay so if i resolve now this is basically this velocity this is the velocity over here so now this is the uh the component of the acceleration which is let me draw this here this diagram like this now this was your velocity in this direction this is your sigma theta and this is the component of the acceleration parallel to to this tangent which is basically the direction of the speed of the velocity basically so this is your v cos sigma theta and this is your v uh, sin 
sigma theta to determine the uh, horizontal and vertical uh, i mean the, the components of the acceleration which are parallel and perpendicular to this um, like circular motion uh, or maybe to this to this tangent we need to resolve this velocity in, in those directions okay so as you know that um, your acceleration is basically this is dv over dt and you also have studied this in your additional mathematics this can be written as sigma v over sigma t because we are talking about a very small interval over here okay now for the component which is parallel to the tangent over here which was like you see this one the tangent so for this uh, this is going to be uh, v cos sigma theta minus v over sigma t okay so when you theta sigma theta is very small you know that cos 0 is cos 0 is uh, 1 so cos sigma theta that will be approximately 1 so this v and this v is cancelled so this is going to be 0 so the component of the acceleration in the direction of this velocity that is going to be 0 now the component which is perpendicular to this tangent that would be v sine sigma theta minus 0 over sigma t so guys you know that uh, when there is a very very small angle then you know that your um, let me use this color if 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 it's visible to you like you know sine theta over theta that is equal to one when your theta tends to zero your this is going to be equal to one so that means we can change this sine sigma theta since sigma theta is a very small angle i can write sigma theta over here so this becomes v sigma theta over sigma t so this sigma theta over sigma t is same as this d theta over dt so we can change that with the omega over here this is going to be v omega okay so the acceleration which is in the direction perpendicular to this tangent that is going to be either uh, like if you change this is basically both in the velocity and the angular velocity angular speed so this if i change this omega with the where is that like if, if i change this v with the r omega so this becomes from here from this one so this this is r omega square that is one form of the acceleration written over here okay and if i change like from here if i change this omega with v over r so i get the second version of this acceleration which is going to be um v square over r so this is uh, what I have shown over here that why the acceleration on, on a circular motion that is going to be v square over r and that is basically perpendicular to the direction of the speed okay uh, now coming towards this f equal to m r omega square guys you know that uh, now you have seen this formula in your uh, a level mechanics so changing this a substituting the value of a from these formulas this f oh you can see this one so this f is going to be either m if i change this with r omega square this is r omega square or this can be uh, m v square over r now this force is basically acting in this direction towards the center it is this force is like you know in such a way that it is passing through the center of this circular path okay so uh, i have give, given you told you explain you the formulas for this first part of the circular motion in in a, in my next video i'll be solving some questions from the first exercise so stay tuned thank you